Now let us discuss about negative clamper with a level shifter. So in this circuit we will have a voltage source also with the capacitor as well as diode. Now in this circuit when you are analyzing the circuit here also the same procedure you follow. First step is see when the diode is conducting and calculate the maximum value or peak value at which the capacitor will be charged. So here when the, when the diode will conduct here at this point the first point is so first step is when the diode will conduct so here at negative potential we have E voltage so at positive potential your input should be more than E. So when your input voltage is greater than E then the diode will conduct. So when the diode is conducting let us take a loop equation here so at this point diode is on diode is on condition when the diode is on condition if you take loop equation that is VI so let us take this is the capacitor voltage VC minus VC minus E equal to 0 because diode is conducting and taking it voltage across this one is 0. So when you take the circuit if you take VI is if, if you double VC is equal to VI minus E this is the output but here if you consider VI because when input is greater than E so if you take loop equation here so when in, uh, this is the waveform so when input is more than E means the peak value is plus Vm so positive peak we have to consider so this value will be equal to when you take the maximum of this one maximum of this it will be equal to plus Vm minus E that is the capacitance voltage so this voltage is plus Vm minus E. Now the, what is the second thing we have to do? So when the, the capacitor will be charged to this peak value then diode gets uh, the diode will be in off condition that gets in the reverse bias. So when it is reverse bias we have to calculate output. So then it will be equal to Vi minus Vc minus V0 equal to 0. So this is the loop equation I am taking. So from this we can calculate output is equal to Vi minus Vc. But here what is the capacitance voltage Vc is equal to plus Vm minus E and you substitute in this equation. So this will be equal to Vi minus Vm plus E. This is the output voltage. Now here if you take minus, uh, if you take, so from this e relation we can draw the output waveform. Let us take uh, input is 0. So when input is 0 then output is equal to minus Vm plus E. So when input is 0, output is equal to minus Vm plus Ev. Let us take this is minus Vm plus E. So this is the point. Next when Va is equal to Vm, when it reaches peak value, so Va is equal to Vm, so then it is equal to E at this point. Again when Va is equal to 0, it comes to this place. Again when Va is equal to minus Vm, so this is minus 2 Vm plus E. Let us take this field this is minus 2 Vm plus C. So let us take it reaches this point. So again when uh, next point is when VA when input is 0 when input is 0 minus Vm plus C. So it reaches this point again to GE. So this waveform will be like this. So according to the input we have to find output this relation. So here this waveform will be same as the input waveform but the difference is here the DC level is shifted to minus Vm plus E. So the DC level is shifted to this place. Remaining is same as the input waveform. Okay. So this is uh, V0, uh, this is how we analyze the negative clamper with level shifter circuit.